Alex Thompson with Thompson Visuals coming at you on my handy cam because my main camera has a bit of a problem. Let me show you. So what happens when your Komodo is overheating? Well, it's going to look like that. Overheating. The way I noticed it was uh, I was using the camera, right? You know, doing my thing, right? And then I saw this was flickering between green and yellow. So, went ahead, click that, I could see it here, camera status, temperature, and then it says overheating. How hot is too hot for a red Komodo? Now that's a question I didn't really expect to have to ask myself. I jumped onto the red bandwagon in 2011 during the Scarlet X days. I also had a red Raven, I spent a lot of time with the Dragon X, so from DSMC1 to DSMC2 and now with these next generation of red cameras, the thinking has always been, don't let it get above 70, 72 degrees Celsius. Any hotter than that, and the camera is going to warn of a shutdown, might cut the record, spin the fans up, etc., etc. Now, the reason why I really need to know how hot is too hot for the Komodo is because I need to know when those fans are going to go on full blast. I need to know when the camera is going to stop the recording and when it's going to shut down. But it's not because of the camera, it's entirely something that I did. Let me explain. And, and if you've made it this far, you've decided that you're gonna watch the video and you're not gonna click off of it, so thank you for that. But basically I wanna explain the only reason it's overheating is because I took it apart. I took it apart, I took the heat sink off, trying to get to the SDI board, which is a totally separate video that'll come eventually. But by taking the original factory, you know, heat con or thermal compound off, I have to put my own back on. And clearly, I didn't put enough back on because it's overheating. Anyway, let's get back to it. Oh. A few months ago, I took this Komodo, Stormtrooper 234, apart. Part of me took it apart because I was bored. The real reason is because I wanted to know whether or not you could do a 12G to 3G downgrade by doing something as simple as just swapping the cable driver. Now, that's a totally separate video. That'll come out eventually. As far as the current situation at hand, the camera after about five or 10 minutes starts to overheat. Now, what I'm wondering is whether or not it will let me actually do anything with the Komodo while it's overheating. So let's take a look at that. Let's record. And, oh, well, I guess I could have figured that out. If I try to record right now, how long can I record until I run out of, uh, you know, if I, <laughs> I run out of thermal capacity? So let's record absolutely nothing and then see what the camera does. So it's upset, but it's not shutting down. Now, what if I wanted to force it to have an issue. So let me let me cover my hand over the exhaust, which it literally tells you do not do. It, what does it say there? Yeah, do not obstruct. Yeah, so let's do that and then see what happens. You know, I might actually be getting some of the heat coming out of that access door because I left it open. So here, let me close that and cover my hand on the exit, on the exhaust. It's a little bit like watching paint dry, but uh, we'll get there. There we go, so it's red. So it's still recording. Ooh, that's interesting. It's a little skull icon. Deal with it. At what point do you give up and shut down? Because it is still recording. You can still see, yeah, the red record light is on. Fans are even louder now, but not even, not nearly as loud as a DSMC-1. I mean, this is like the record speed for a Scarlet X. And this is the Komodo saying, like, Jesus, man, like, you've literally got your hand on my mouth. There it is. It just stopped. 
It just stopped. It just shut down. Oh, sh you know what, though? Did it shut down just because the battery was dead? Damn. Now I gotta... See, now I want to know. Let's see. Let's grab another brick. Let's put this fatty on there. Let me set you down for a sec. Now that's interesting. The power light is flashing red. Which... Red means danger, so it's kind of making me think that maybe it has something to do with the fact that I deliberately tried to make the camera overheat. The LCD display is on, but not displaying anything. So let me try turning it off. And turning it back on again. Wow, does that work? I like when that happens. We are running the production firmware that is a uh, 1.6. Point five. Let's bring the exposure down. Come on, we're not trying to clip our highlights here. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. And yeah, so overheating, but uh, the camera still works. You know, it never got to the point where you know, something permanently broke on the camera, even though I would literally had its hand, had my hand over the exhaust. So it's really impressive. Damn, it, I think it just shut down because it ran out of battery. Because it's fine with it now. Got it. So overheating is starting at what looks like 70 or 71 degrees. And then 73 is when it turns red. And then I'll have to check the tape, but it looked like 76 was when it had that skull icon. And it was like, you better cool me off, because I'm dying here. But uh, in any case, uh, the Komodo did great. That's the takeaway from this video. You can shoot with confidence. This camera, just like the other cameras that came before it, even though it's quieter, even though the fans don't spit up as loud, it's still going to be super reliable, and you're not going to have any problem with that. If you enjoyed this video, buy my Gimbal Flex cables. Buy my Gimbal Flex cables. Don't subscribe. Buy a Gimbal Flex cable. They're super f strong. So, uh, yeah, do not subscribe. Buy my cables. Okay, thanks. Goodbye.